Welcome to our program. This is your presenter, Mikael, broadcasting live from Galway in Ireland. Uh, we are some students from Bilbao and a really nice French guy, and we are going to be telling you about our two-week experience in Ireland. To begin with the whole thing, I would like to welcome my two guests, Imanol and John. Hello. Hi. Uh, they are here for a small interview, and I'd like to start with you, Imanol. Okay. So, first question for you is a really simple one, and it's why did you decide to come to Ireland? Well, I decided to come to Ireland because I thought it was the time to improve my speaking in English, and also because I always like meeting people from other cultures and traditions. Yeah, I think that's one of the best reasons. And you, John, what about you? Well, um, I have uh, similar reasons uh, to Immanuel's um, um, because I thought, uh, that, and I was right, that going with other guys uh, who wanted to uh, improve their English too, well, it will be a good experience for all of us. And it was, yeah. So, uh, Immanuel, back to you. We've done loads and loads of activities, but I'm sure, I'm sure there must be one which you liked best. Yeah, I think my favorite activity has been the historical trip to the Hook Lighthouse because I learned something about the history of one of the most important lighthouses of Ireland and maybe uh, from Europe. Yeah, maybe from Europe as well, yeah. And John, what, which was your favorite activity? Mm, I think that my favorite activity was the social dinner at Lise's house because we were all together having fun uh, and dinner. And um, after a dinner, uh, we were playing hide and seek and basketball. Um, it was very great. Yeah, I think, well, that's my favorite activity as well, so. Uh, then, Himanol, uh, we have been talking about the activities, but apart from that, there have been great moments. Which, was, was, which one was your favorite? Yeah, that's really, really difficult, but I think my favorite moments are those in which we went to jump off the pier in Cahor Beach, uh, because that was great fun for all of us, in spite of the water being really cold. Yeah, it was freezing. So, last question for you, John. Uh, we, we have created a group, a group of friends, and I would like you to tell me what you think of that group? Mm, well, uh, all of the, them of the group uh, are very friendly and I'm getting along with everybody. Mm, when the two groups uh, are together, uh, we have a lot of fun and we do the activities with more enthusiasm. I think that's um, great. Yeah, I think we're a great group. So it was a pleasure having you both uh, at the studio. Uh, I really hope you had a great time. Yes. It was uh, nice to be here. Yes, thank you for having us. Okay, so that's it for the interview. Now, uh, uh, we'd like to continue with a question which we asked to all the students which we were, who were staying at Adele's house. The question was uh, about their favorite activity among all the activities we've done, and these are their answers. I think jumping off the pier because I like a lot swimming and we were all together having fun. I think uh, it was great. I think it was the fashion. So when we were at uh, Liz's house and uh, because uh, my team created a wonderful uh, costume and I, I had to, to wear it. Uh, at the beginning, I wasn't very fond of uh, wearing it, but after it was it was great fun, and uh, so we took some photos in the garden with the the costume, and uh, that was uh, that was um, a bit freezing, but funny too. So for me, I think it's my best memory. The thing that I like the most of Ireland is the people of here, because I think that they are very friendly i mean generally they are very kind to you and very helpful i think that the day we were cooking a lot of things all together because i love cooking 
Uh, it was very funny and the things we cooked be- weren't very difficult. My best memory of Ireland is when we went to the Hook Lighthouse because it was a sunny day and the lighthouse was very interesting. For me, my best memory was to do coastering because it was very funny and it was amazing to jump off rocks and that. Okay, now we are going to talk with two students. One is from Spain, Maider, and the other is for French, Julian. Uh, they are going to tell us about the differences that they have found in the Irish culture with the people and well. Uh, Maider, do you find many differences between the Spanish and the Irish culture? Yes, I have found many differences in the daily routine. One of them is that at breakfast they eat a lot and then they have lunch earlier than in Spain, which is a quick lunch. Then for them the dinner is a very important meal because they eat a lot too. They usually have eat at six and then before they go to bed they have a tea cup or something warm. And Julian, you have you seen very difference between French people and Irish people? Well, um, I think that uh, Irish people are maybe uh, more helpful than uh, French people. Uh, for example, when we were in Gore and we wanted to find a shop. We asked questions to people in the street, and these people were happy to help, help us, and uh, they took time to answer to our questions, and I'm not sure that French people would be so nice with uh, strangers, uh, students uh, from Spain, for example. Okay, very well, and what about the weather, Maider? In my opinion, the weather hasn't been very good, because in Spain we are used to have higher temperatures than in Ireland. Here in Ireland there's lots more rain than in the Basque country. The weather in Ireland changed a lot. Every day when we wake up it was a sunny day and then suddenly it starts raining and then again sun. Okay, Julian, uh, do you find many differences in the food or in the way to that they cooked or Mm, yes, uh, some differences. Uh, for example, uh, I have the impression that Irish people just eat cheddar as a uh, cheese. And uh, I'm not used to that because uh, I'm, I'm used to eat a lot of different cheeses in France. Uh, so that was one, one difference. And uh, then here I think people drink more tea as in France and uh, and the bread is very different here and they don't eat uh, as uh, as lot of bread as we eat in France and I found it uh, un- unusual. Okay, uh, thank you Maider and Julian for explaining us the differences about the cultures in between the Irish, Spanish and French people. And yesterday, our reporter asked some students the question, uh, tell us about your experience with the Teen Whistle. Well, I was here last year, and of course I knew a little bit about the uh, instruments and how to play it. But maybe because, the, because of the fact that the tunes were easier this year, uh, I got to, to be more fluent with it and the whole group together was better than than the group last year when it came to music so i think it was a little bit better than last year but yeah overall you could say that we did good in the film it's very difficult and when you have to see it's easier well on my first lesson i felt really nervous because it has been a long time since i last played this kind of instrument but as I have improved, I feel more confident playing it. My experience was well, but the third lesson was a little bit a disaster. But in the second lesson, I felt better because I played the flute in the school. Some of the notes are difficult, but with a little bit of practice, it's easy to play the tin whistle. I like playing the tin whistle because it's different to the record and playing it in the pop all together was great. Well. All right, so this is where the whole thing comes to an end. First of all, we'd like to thank the families for having us here. 
and Willy. We would also like to thank you for listening to our program. Uh, for me and the rest of the group, goodbye.